process. Oh, wow. And that's Mary Church Terrell. And that's her on the picket line when she was 90, 89 years old. Really? Yes. 89? And she integrated the, the stores in Washington, D.C. She integrated the helped, stores in Washington? Helped integrate the stores. Wow. Wow. Her hat and her gloves and stuff are on <laughs> now at the New Smithsonian. Are they? Mm hmm Okay, I'm gonna have to go and look for it again. That is incredible. So we hey. have two young ladies who are in the process of archiving this stuff. Wow. Thanks for sharing and inviting you guys. Thanks, Claudette. So this is Easton. This is where he was born. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it was in the process trying to put the map together. It's amazing. Oh, Booker T. Washington. Yes. There is no struggle, there is no progress. Yes. That is so true. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, here, maybe you can. You can see it now. Greetings. How are you doing? How are you doing, Claudette? Thanks for joining and sharing. Thank you. And that's uh, Frederick Douglass. There is no struggle. There is no progress. Those who profess to favor freedom and yet depreciate agitation are men who want crops without plowing up the ground. They want rain without thunder and lightning. They want the ocean without the awful roar of its many waters. This struggle may be a moral one, or it may be a physical one, or it may be both moral and physical, but it must be a struggle. Power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did, and it never will. Wow. Find out what people will submit to, and you have found the exact amount of injustice and wrong which will be opposed upon them. And... These will continue until they are resisted with either words or blows or with both. The limits of tyrants are prescribed by the endurance of those whom they oppress. Frederick Douglass. Wow. That, that, that. Hi, Jeff. How are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Yeah, that's very powerful, isn't it? So what is this a picture of? Hampton University. Hampton. Hampton University? Well, it's Hampton University now. It's Hampton College. Hampton where, College. Where they dressed. Look at the... I know. I know. <laughs> wow. That's incredible. And then there's a picture, another picture of Frederick sure. Douglass. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for sharing. So this is Frederick Douglass's summer home. And yeah, yes, thanks. <laughs> Thank you guys for sharing. Thanks for coming in. Can we see sure. the one underneath? This is amazing. Oh, what is this a picture of? Mary Church Terrell on her 90th birthday. Really? 89th birthday. 89th birthday. Some close-ups so you can get screenshots. Okay, so this is pretty rare. This is Mary Church Terrell on her... 89th birthday. 89th birthday. Okay, I'm holding it. We're holding it. You guys got pictures? Okay, screenshot. You got it? 89th birthday. Thank you. And what else is what else do we have there? <laughs> Her court battles. Her court battles. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. So Mary Church Ter Terrell and three companions, one of whom was white, sought service at Thompson Restaurant in downtown Washington, DC. The non whites were refused service. February, oh, that was January 27th, 1950. February 28th, 1950, Mrs. I want to say Terrell so bad. Terrell <laughs> and her colleagues returned to the restaurant only to be turned away again because of their color. 
July 10th, 1950, the suit filed in the municipal court by Mrs. Terrell, Reverend Arthur Elms, 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 S.E. Thompson, and David Skull White against Thompson's restaurant for its policy of discrimination was dis dismissed. May 24th, 1951, a challenge of the lower court ruling made to the Municipal Court of Appeals by the District Commissioner resulted in a re reversal of the mu Municipal Court decision. The laws were enforceable. January 22nd, 1953, the United States Court of Appeals ruled in favor of Thompson's Restaurant in its appeal to reverse the decision of the Municipal Court of Appeals. This is amazing and heartbreaking at the same time. It is. I agree with you. June 8, 1953, U.S. Supreme Court, by a unanimous decision, came to the following conclusion. We have said that the acts of 1872 and 1873 survived the intervening changes in government of the District of Columbia and are presently enforceable. This decision meant victory at last for the committee and the hundreds of individuals and organizations who fought the three-year battle to have the 1872 to 1873 anti-discrimination laws enforced in Washington, D.C. The headline in the June 13, 1953 issue of the Washington Afro-American newspaper simply stated, Eat Anywhere. Wow. <laughs> and that's the timeline. Okay, so these are the places that um, Mary Church Terrell helped to desegregate. From 1949 to 1953, September 1950, G.C. Murphy's Five and Dime Store, 14th Street, Woolworth's Five and Dime Store, Grant's Five and Dime Store, April 1950, Goldenberg's Perfect. Department that Store. That used to be at 7th and D Streets. Oh, okay. July 1950, Cannes Department Store, okay. January, oh, go ahead. That was a, that's also on D, uh, 7th and D. 7th and D. Mm -hmm. January 1951, Kresge 51, McBride's Department Store, Department Store, March 1952, Landsberg's Department Perfect. Store. Okay, and so in this photo, she's, she's marching at, for which one? She was at Kresge's. Kresge's. Okay. So that's a picture of her. And you said how old she was here? She was 89. That's Mary Church Terrell. And that's a picture of her, her younger. Younger. But that, that is amazing. That is amazing. She spoke four different languages. English, French, Italian, and German. <gasps> wow. She was educated at Oberlin. Got her bachelor's degree at Oberlin College in Ohio, and her master's degree from Wilberforce. That is incredible. Okay, and, and so what is this one down that here? Was, that's the picture. What we have left of the Afro Democracy Wins and Heck Company. And uh, if you go to original Heck Company now, that is 7th and E Streets, mm -hmm. between E and F, Mm -hmm. This is called Terrell Place in her really? honor. Really? Yes. Really? And they have three beautiful statues there of her, done by Elizabeth Catlett. Oh, and wow. uh, we donate a lot of materials there. So there's an archway, a whole wall of pic photographs that they've done leading from the lobby through the building. So it's a wonderful place to visit. Amazing. That is so incredible. And so she was a Delta member of Delta Sigma yep. Theta Sorority. And also yes. she was the president of the National Association of Colored Women. Oh, and the National Association of Colored Women. Wow. And so where are they unveiling the Colored Women's Group? Wow. Educator Emancipator, organized 1896. Mm -hmm. And that's the oath for Delta. Yes, she wrote. Oh, she wrote the oath. Yes, she wrote the oath. Till they see this. And this that's is, amazing. This is her desk that she. Did that's a lot her of desk. Did a lot of writing on. Wow. A lot of her papers. Wow. Oh, oh I'm that's so okay. sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get this shot. I'm bumping into the door here. 
This is amazing. Oh, wow. There's just so much history. All right. So if you read up on her father was Robert Church, the first black millionaire in Mississippi, in uh, sorry, Memphis, Tennessee. The first black millionaire in Memphis, Tennessee. Tem Memphis, Tennessee. Read his life. Robert Church. Robert Church. Wow. Okay. Definitely will do that. So what is this over here? What is that? No segregation. No color allowed. Oh, Jim Crow laws? Jim Crow laws, yeah. Okay. Hotels, no colored. Hotels in the downtown area will not rent room to Negroes. This has embarrassed dark-skinned foreign visitors. Restaurants, no colors, and downtown area restaurants will serve Negroes. All lunch counters, at lunch counters, Negroes must stand to be served. Mm -hmm. Theaters, no colors. Negroes will not be admitted to downtown theaters unless they pose as aliens. They are told to go to segregated theaters. Aliens, what? They were saying yeah, they were yeah. Indian? Or Egyptian? Or, or Egyptian? Or <laughs> Any, oh my any God! Country but the United States. Wow! Most cab drivers pass up Negro patrons in downtown Washington. In the best dress, in the best department stores, clerks turn their backs mm -hmm. at the approach of a Negro. Wow! Capital gets worldwide publicity on segregation. Marian Anderson canceled the Daughters of the American Revolution. Refused to permit Marian Anderson Negro to sing in Constitution Hall. So she sang at the Lincoln Memorial, and I yes. was about five months old. My mom and dad took me. Really? <laughs> to hear her sing. Oh my God, Easter, that has to be amazing. Easter Sunday. Okay, so the National Theater Capitol's only commercial playhouse is being converted to a movie theater because the boycott by Actors Equity for banning Negroes. Wow. Ingrid Bergman, star of Joan of Lorraine at Listener Law Auditorium, was shocked at the exclusion of Negroes. Mm -hmm. And what does this one say? Okay, so in the early 1870s, Washington, D.C. had a presidentially appointed governor and an elected elect legislative assembly. Lewis Douglas, son of Frederick Douglas, while a member of the short-lived assembly, introduced an anti-discrimination law to protect the rights of black Washingtonians. Washingtonians. The law passed on June 20th, 1872. It stated in part, any restaurant keeper, hotel keeper, or keepers of ice cream saloons or places where soda water is kept for sale or keepers of barbershops and bathing houses refusing to sell or wait on any respectable, well-behaved person without regard to race, color, or previous condition of servitude in the same room and at the same prices, as well as other behaved and respectable persons are served, shall be deemed guilty of a misdemeanor and upon conviction in a court having jurisdiction shall be fined a hundred dollars and shall forfeit his or her license until a period of one year shall have elapsed. A second law was passed in 1873 that made simul similar provisions to prevent discrimination in the city. In 1874, the United States Congress abolished Washington's Legislative Assembly and established a city government made up of three commissioners appointed by the president. The 1872 and 1873 anti-discrimination laws were never repealed by the new government, nor were they enforced. And that's what she went to court on. Oh. The, were things that were done by, by uh, Lewis. Okay. That, that's where this court battles. Okay. The, the no. 1972. Okay. Since you referred to the acts. Uh, yes. So that was what you thought. Okay. Those wow. Related. That's amazing. Wow. Wow. Oh, so much. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. That's about it for this room. Okay. All these books are going up to the town hall. We have established the Terrell Langston Library there.
Oh, nice. So these plus we have about four or five hundred books already filed. Wow. So many of them belong to her and her husband, Judge Terry, who is the municipal judge in Washington, D.C., the first African-American appointed to the to the courts. Really? Served, served four terms under four different presidents. Really? Yes. Robert H. Terrell. Robert H. Terrell. Okay. All right. So, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know how to get out of here. I apologize. Okay. So, I'm going to go back and I'll show you guys the view. Oh, wow. That, that is incredible. So, Frederick Douglass... He didn't get to live here, but he sat on his porch. And Mary Church Terrell lived next door. She did live next door. This this is an amazing story. This they need to make a movie. They really do. We have a book. We have a DVD. You have a DVD? Mm -hmm. Where is where? Yeah, okay, I, I would yeah. <laughs> that that's amazing. Oh my goodness. So, hello from Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Hi. So somebody says hello from Malaysia. And that's where Mary Church Terrell's great grandmother came from. Mary Church Terrell's, Terrell's great, great grandmother, grandmother came from Malaysia. Malaysia. Really? Mm -hmm. She was taken aboard a slave ship. She was. Brought over on a slave, slave ship? ship? Yes, because her family were going to be either murdered. I I don't know what to say to that. That, <laughs> that, that oh wow, that I'm speechless. Yep. Her, her did her, so the person who got on here, did you know that? That she came from Malaysia? Shirts and all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Who was from Malaysia? Mary Church Terrell's great great grandmother. Mary Church Terrell, Terrell's great great grandmother. So you have a, a yeah. picture. No, I don't have a picture of her. Okay, you have one of um. Her grandmother. No. Mary Church oh. Terrell down here. Yeah. yeah. Where is that picture? Oh, there she is, right? And the one you right saw here. Up, and the one you saw upstairs. This yeah, one. that's her. There she is. So her great. Great-grandmother. Great-great-grandmother came from Malaysia. She was put on a slave ship and brought here. So, yes, that, have, that's an amazing story. the letter that the person whose family bought her wrote, and we had the necklace and we put it in the museum. It's in Smithsonian. It's at the new museum? That is, okay. Well, I need to go back and <laughs> see the they, exhibit they again. They may not have put everything out. We have Oh, we have that's right, the process right. process of putting things out. So we yeah. just signed all the papers. Yeah, it's a very old, old photo. Because she she was, she was helped to desegregate Washington, D.C., and she was marching in her 80s. So if you go back and look at the, toward the end of the scope, you'll see a, a picture of her protesting and marching and uh so there there she is yeah that is incredible <laughs> so and then here's there's another picture of frederick douglas i haven't seen this one i've never seen one of him sitting in a chair oh, that was taking a cedar hill this one's from cedar hill This photo was taken at Cedar Hill in Washington, D.C., his Cedar Hill home. And the line hits like the, the chair on the shoulder. Oh, okay. So that, that's a picture of Frederick Douglass. And that's Helen. And that's Helen Pitts Douglass. That's his second wife. Mm -hmm. That is his second wife. And then this is the the North Star, <laughs> and then that's the fifty uh, fourth Regiment. It is. It is very interesting. So, and this that's Fanny Douglas. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that's Fanny Douglas. And then that's Fanny Douglas at the post office. Yeah, the post office yes. All right. With the sign. This sign. Oh, and these stamps are a Frederick Douglass stamp and a Booker Booker T. T. Washington stamp? Yes. Oh, wow. Look at that, you guys. So Booker T. Washington has a stamp. And Frederick Douglass has a stamp as well. It's a Frederick Douglass stamp. Oh, okay, thanks. There are a lot of stamps in here. What else? Oh, there are more stamps? Oh, you get the African American heritage. Yes, there are more stamps. We have some in the book yet. Oh, James Baldwin. Langston Hughes. When you go to the lot, when you go to the post office, ask for the African American heritage stamps. Okay. Wow. The new one's coming out soon on Dorothy Height. Yes, Dorothy Height. That's right. That's right. Wow. Yes. Levon. Uh, Julian. So, um, I just recently met um, his, I think his when we had a meetup. That was a surprise. I was like, okay. These are interesting stamps. I have never seen some of these. Hmm. For quite a while. And on these other pages. Oh, Dr. His, Charles. His Charles. daughter lives right around the corner in Venice Beach. Really? Charlene. His daughter lives around the corner in Venice Beach. Wow. Wow. That's, that's amazing. Who else is out this way? Well, there's Harriet Tubman. Oh, and that's her stamp. The Harriet Tubman stamp. So, what other... Um, Famous people are out here in Highland. <laughs> in Highland. I don't know. Oh, oh we, wow. don't, we don't consider ourselves famous, but. Well, <laughs> legendary. Res I don't know. Residents. Le legendary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a very nice. What about this desk? This desk belonged to Phyllis Langston, my mom, mother in law. Oh, to your mother in law? And when, um, when she. So I think I'm maybe I'll do this. Hmm? Yeah, I th I guess I'll do this because I've never seen this photo. I think this is really interesting. So please go back and, and watch from the beginning. Thanks for joining and thanks for sharing and thanks.